Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast for the tech stocks uh, for Tuesday, uh, October 14th, uh, 2020. And if you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Uh, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So we'll start out by looking at Google. And in general, most of the major tech stocks today rose quite significantly. We can see that Amazon up five, Netflix one, the Microsoft three, Apple five, Facebook uh, nearly five, and Google nearly 4%. And as you can see, we have broken through the 50 moving average and all the other moving averages. And now we're trading well above the 50 moving average. At this point, we found resistant at this area here, which was also previous resistant. And at this point, we'll probably expect a pullback towards the 50 moving average before going higher. There's this kind of weird, I also discussed it in my uh, video about uh, US, US indexes. It seems like the market is anticipating a stimulus, but there is very little chance that there's going to be any additional stimulus bill passed the Congress before the election. And the reason for that is that Donald Trump is basically uh, almost killed any uh, possibility of a negotiation. Uh, there's no reason for the Democrats to uh, give the president an, um, any positive technical news before the, before the election so he can get more votes. And the majority leader in the United States Senate has said that there probably won't be a bill because their priority is the... Uh, Supreme Court nominee. So, this is pure speculation that there is going to be a bill. And there won't, most likely won't be one. I won't say there won't be one, but most likely won't be one. And there most likely won't be one after the election either. At least not until January 2021. So, what we see here is made. Uh, Probably right in Google stock, we ran into resistance here at uh, at uh, uh, 1576, and we most likely will see a pullback towards the 50 moving average before going higher, or we'll see a major pullback towards the 200 moving average. Um, that is possible. Um, at the moment, the RSI is looking exhausted. It is basically leveling off. MACD is is very uh, is very positive. The stochastic is extremely bullish, uh, and the Bollinger Band has broken way above the top of the or uh, the top of the Bollinger Band. And usually, when that happens, we can see it right here. We can also see it here. Is that we have a major red candlestick the next day? That is possible. But I do believe if we fall from here, we'll fall back towards the 50 moving average at around $1,529. A break above this resistance line here will, will get us all the way up to 1659 And then we'll go to the all-time highs of 1733 Facebook also exploded to the upside. It's trading above the 50 moving average. And same here, we found resistant at these areas here. And similar to Google, I don't expect this, this market to go higher from here. I expect a pullback from this area. Most of the, uh, most of the indicators are very bullish for Facebook stock. MACD, RSI, is almost overbought to be, just keep that in mind. The uh, stochastic, uh, but the Bollinger Band is going way across the, the line. And usually, similar thing happened here, similar thing happened here. When we tend to cross uh, way above the uh, over Bollinger Band, we uh, tend to have a major pullback. So this pullback will most likely will be towards the 50 moving average, which is support at this point. 
Um, after that, we have the exponential moving average, and then we have the 100 moving average at 251. If we break this so, uh, this resistance line, there's nothing for, uh, that's preventing us from going to these highs at 302. Apple, it jumped in the beginning of the, of, of the session, and then we had a massive rise. So Apple is up to 5.5% today. And um, of course, we are going to have the new Apple phone uh, being uh, announced, um, I think it's 15th of October. So uh, that usually gets Apple stock to rise, uh, but in some cases it can also fall if, uh, if it doesn't um, uh, satisfy the expectations. At the moment, the, the indicators for Apple stock are very bullish, both the, uh, the RSI, the stochastic, the MACD, and also the stochastic. However, the Bollinger Band is breaking above the, the top of the Bollinger Band. So we may see a, a pullback tomorrow before we go higher. Uh, we found resistant or have found resistant at this area here. But we basically broke major resistance area, which was underneath. So there's technically nothing that prevents us from going through to these all-time highs. But I would even be surprised if we fell back towards the 50 moving average and then went higher. Microsoft, extremely bullish. We are, we are at the moment not overbought, but we are on the edge of being overbought. Uh, we have broken all resistance barriers down here, and there's nothing from preventing us come from going to the all-time highs at this point. Uh, however, I do expect a pullback tomorrow towards the 50 moving average before we go higher. The, uh, the indicators are very bullish for for Microsoft stock, and um, and the Bollinger Band has crossed, and usually when that happens, we have a major um, we have a major pullback. So if we have a pullback, we'll drop towards the 50 moving average at 211. If we go higher from here, then we technically go to the all time highs at 232. Netflix, we are finding resistance at the same area that we have found resistance several times before. So if we create a triple top here, then the then Netflix will fall quite substantially to the downside, all the way probably to the 100 moving average at $481. At this point, the stochastic is looking, it's, uh, it's, um, it's looking quite flat. The MACD is very bullish. However, the stochastic is about to turn around and go to the downside. And the MACD and the Bollinger Band is also indicating the similar thing. So if you have if we fall from here first, the 50 moving average will be support, the your support, and then we have the 100 moving average at at 483. So if we look at Amazon, Amazon also jumped, and then we have a risen it rose today 5.26 percent, and is still well, is still active. It's not the end of the session. So, uh, but at this point. I do believe that we'll have a fall, uh, pullback. If we don't, then we will certainly have a pullback when we get to the old uh, highs here of 3,558. Um, the MACD is very bullish. Uh, the RSI is looking exhausted. It's about to turn around. And the stochastic is also leveling off. And the Bollinger Band is uh, way um, across the, the top of the Bollinger Band. Last time we did this was over here. And then we have a major fall of around, how much is this? 11%. So you can have parabolical moves like this, but usually they end up with something similar to this. So here we fell from the top to the bottom to the, the 20 exponential moving average and found resistant at the 20 exponential moving average. And I wouldn't be surprised if we saw something similar to Amazon stock uh, tomorrow session or on Wednesday session that we hit the top of the of the um, resistant area here and then we fell back towards the 50 moving average. So if you find this video helpful, you're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button uh, in order to, uh, to get this channel basically growing 
and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.